capitalism through amnesty for illegals. And then we go on, page after page, reference after re reference, and then I go to I illegal immigration for profit because I followed the money. And I say, you may remember the reporting last year about the luxury hotels being rehabbed for the illegal alien children, offering saunas, tennis courts, luxury pools, and more. The Obama administration actually bought a luxury hotel to convert into a facility for juvenile illegal aliens. And then I write about the the religious organizations, big uh, big religion, who are making hundreds of millions of dollars off this. And then I talk about the GEO Corporation. GEO was awarded almost a billion dollars in ICE contracts. Who owns it? Wackenhut Corporation, which owns a lot of private prisons and funded the American Legislative Exchange Council, a lobbying group. They tell your elected officials what to vote on. They tell your elected officials where to eat, what to breathe, and how to operate. They run the country. Are you ready for this? What I'm about to tell you will change your view of politics for the rest of your life. Who is running the company, which helps fund ALEC and is behind all of these resorts for legal aliens? Well, I have the names because you wanted to know the answers. The top shareholders include people you never heard of. It's an international organization. They own facilities in the UK, Australia, South Africa, and the US. The management team includes George Zoli, John Bolfin, Norman Carlson, and Thomas Wiersma. I don't know who they are, but maybe some of these hedge funds are familiar to you. The hedge funds behind this illegal immigration. They include BlackRock Fund Advisors, Credit Suisse, River Road Asset Management LLC, Eagle Asset Management Inc., Scopia Capital Management, LLC, Carlson Capital, LP, BlackRock Institutional Trust Company, Hotchkiss and Wiley Capital Management, and Vanguard Group, Inc. If you have any money in any of them, it may be helping fund GEO Group's holding facilities for the illegal alien children. Now, all of this is perfectly legal. Don't assume I'm saying there's anything illegal in what they're doing. I'm just telling you to follow the money. And then I come back, the minute I come back, I'm going to tell you who else is profiting from the illegal alien surge, who is on the board, what funds you may be invested in are actually profiting from this, and then you'll understand why America is under assault. If you don't have the time to listen, I suggest you go to Amazon and buy Government Zero. You'll find this all on pages 187 to 189. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. There's not a lot so Durbin, Senator Durbin, says we should take in 100,000 Syrian refugees, that we have a moral obligation to take them in. Not that we should, but we have to. That We're immoral if we don't take them in. He said the United States leads the world in financial assistance for the Syrian refugees, but that's not good enough. We need to take in 100,000 more. Lutheran Family Services says the same thing. Baptist Family Services, Catholic Family Services, Jewish Family Services. It's all about the money. You don't know that. And, you know, there's an old saying that they claim Karl Marx made up, that when the last capitalist is hung, we'll hang him with his own, with the rope he made, manufactured. Did you know that? That when, the, when we hang the last capitalist, we'll hang him with the rope he manufactured. Wow, that's eerie, isn't it? You never heard that? Didn't hear that at Harvard? Bernie Sanders ought to be listening to the show. Maybe he can pick it up for his next speech. And that when they hang the last capitalist, we'll hang him with the rope that he manufactured. That'd be a good one for Bernie. When we hang the list, no, I can't even do it. I'll try it later. When I come back, we'll talk more about Government Zero and what you can do about it. Go to michaelsavage.com. Big surprise. We have a few pictures of the winners of the scholarship contest. By the way, all profits from Government Zero will go to the 2016 Savage Scholarship Fund. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. I don't think we can wait for... 
all the issues that exist between Israelis and Palestinians to be settled uh, in order for us to try to tamp down uh, the violence right now. I think my views are well known that uh, over time, the only way that uh, Israel is going to be truly secure and the only way that the Palestinians are going to be able to meet the aspirations of their people is if there are two states living side by side in peace and security. So his message is really no different than some of the most virulent anti-Semites throughout history. It sounds reasonable. After all, that's what they teach at Harvard. Doesn't it sound reasonable to you? Two-state solution, it sounds so fair and even. Why don't you just cut off the whole South of America and give it to Mexico and the Mexicans over here and give up your land? Just cut it off. Imagine a line running from, let's say, I don't know, middle of California, north of San Francisco. No, it'd have to be higher than that. I don't have a map in front of me. Somewhere on the West Coast that's right down the middle. And just imagine it running right across America. All the way to the East Coast, somewhere around Virginia. And cut off the whole southern part of the U.S. and give it to the Mexicans and the Central Americans. I guess the only way we're ever going to be secure. And let the people from those countries reach the uh, aspirations that, they're enti that they have been dreaming of. Is to give them the land and your house and your car and your mule. That, that's what that statement is. So Obama's insanity doesn't stop. It gets worse by the day. Jews are being stabbed to death in the streets of Israel. And he's telling the Israelis, give up half your country. That's your solution. Okay, well, now let's go back for a moment to a few things I started in the last hour. At the end of the last hour, when I was talking about Durban's demand that we accept 100,000 Syrian refugees, and I gave you a wonderful monologue on how... I, I want to make sure I term it exactly the way I stated it. Here it is. I want to make sure I get it right. How diversity is destroying democracy. Is that how I said? Something like that? Yeah. How diversity is destroying democracy. And it's not the cornerstone of democracy. Right now it's the destruction of democracy. And then I talked about a term you haven't heard on, on any other show, which is called crony socialism. Oh, God, steal it. How did Savage come up with another one? Why, we've heard of crony capitalism. That's as popular as uh, and many, many other phrases you hear repeated by the parrots in radio. Crony capitalism. Crony capitalism. Crony capitalism. Vote for Bernie Sanders. Let's not have crony capitalism. But if you look at San Francisco, Nancy Pelosi, Dianne Feinstein, you'll see crony socialism. Where do you think the money goes? Where do you think the contracts are going? They're going to, well, let's just say, let's leave it at that, crony socialism. And from Obama's point of view, no-bid contracts and grants to donors and friends of donors, crony socialism. Then we talked about al-Husseini and the Muslims and the Nazis in World War II. And then I quoted from Government Zero, the great chapter on zero immigration. I started to give you the names of those who are profiting from the illegal immigration, including who will profit from the influx of Syrians, and I'm going to continue telling you who they are. You're not going to believe this. If you think it's all left-wing liberals, you're wrong. You're not going to believe, when I get through with you on page 189, who I disclose on the conservative side who's making a fortune off this. I'm the only one in the country who found this. There's not another book, not another show, not another place you can find it but for me, and I'll give it to you for free. Now, for those of you who want to buy the book and will buy the book, I announced something quickly at the end of the hour, which I only mentioned in passing over the last weeks. All profits from the sale of Government Zero will go towards the 2016 Savage Scholarship Fund. Period. Mark it down. Mark it down. I'm not using it for private jet rides. I'm not like uh, some people in the media who... Let's leave it at that. Just let me leave it at that. I don't need to get very competitive right now. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of those phonies. Those with the, with the private jet that, that, that steal your money under the guise of one thing and take a jet ride on it. And then tell you that they're Joe Sixpack when they own 14,000 apartments in Atlanta. So on my website, I have a picture of one of the winners. Beautiful young lady. Here are the winning essays in the Savage Scholarship Contest. And one of the winners is pictured today. You click on it, you'll see some of the others. And you'll see their names. We only have three pictures so far. We're waiting for the other two. You'll see one of the winners. And then you, I want you to re read her essay, what it means to be an American, Heather Fisher. Another winner, 
is a young man named Alex Peterson. His essay was entitled Obscured Resilience. These are young, young college students. Another winner is Curtis Butterfield. His essay was entitled Evil Despises Competition. Wait until you see these essays. And you'll say maybe there are people out there who are not being brainwashed who can fight it. You can find them on michaelsavage.com. And if you want to contribute to the scavenge, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, <laughs> the Savage Scholarship Fund, then you can buy Government Zero. And I'll say it again. All profits will go towards the 2016 Savage Scholarship Fund. I funded it in 2015 with my own money. It's not a nonprofit organization because I don't want the government involved. How do you like that? I wanted no government involvement with these scholarships. That's why I made it a private donation. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Did I want a bureaucrat from Sacramento telling me who I can give it to? That I couldn't give it to someone who loved America? Are you kidding me? So that's that. I covered that. You want to do it? That's good. Now, I want to go back to exposing to you, or excuse me, exposing for you and disclosing to you who's making money off the surge of illegal aliens and those coming in not only from Central America uh, and Mexico in, in, in providing services. We know about the, the, the corrupt churches. We know how they've been corrupted under this regime. But then I listed the mutual funds. And if you have a mutual fund, you probably like the percentage you're making every year. But I want you to know which companies are profiting from the illegal alien surge. You may say that you're a conservative and against illegal immigration. Well, here are the mutual funds that hold GEO stock. Are you ready? Vanguard Specialized RET Index Fund. Fidelity Small Cap Discovery Fund. iShares S&P Small Cap ETF. Prudential Jenison Equity Income Fund. Eagle Series Trust Small Cap Growth Fund iShares Russell 2000 ETF, Vanguard Small Cap Index Fund, Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund. Do you get the picture? I'm not saying they're doing anything wrong, but you have to understand you may be profiting from a political decision that you oppose. It's all on page 188 of, of Government Zero, in case you want to get that list again, because I'm not going to read it again. I'm just getting started. Who is this GEO group, board of directors, that are making billions off the illegal aliens living in luxury resorts? They're not household names. I won't read them to you. One of them is Norman Carlson, former director of the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Huh. I didn't know that. Let me pause right there, I say. The former director of the U.S. Federal Bureau of Prisons is on GEO's board? Well, think about that for a moment. It even gets better, I write on page 189. Also on the board is Ann Newman, foreman. Who is she? Why, she's former undersecretary of the United States Air Force. You were told women in the military would be much kinder and more honest. Well, there she is. She left the Air Force, and she's on the board of directors of GEO Group. And as I said, it's all perfectly legal. It's business as usual. Look how well they're doing. There are others. They all came to do good, and they did very well indeed. Again, these are not household names. But wait until you hear the punchline, because you haven't heard it yet. It's on page 189 of the only book you need this year, Government Zero. Are you ready? The Koch brothers, the Koch brothers, however you announce it, pronounce it, David and Charles, I used to call it Koch, Koch, Koch. I don't know how to pronounce a name like that. K-O-C-H, David and Charles, who are two of the richest people in the world, are key funders of the American Legislative Exchange Council, ALEC. There you have it. You thought it was all liberals who wanted amnesty, but conservatives are also guiding forces behind the illegal immigration surge because they own facilities with thousands of unused beds, and they want you to fill them and pay for them. It is big business, big government, and big religion, all in one bundle and getting paid off your back. It is big business, big government, and big religion, all in one bundle, and they're all earning money off your back. All disclosed in the chapter, Zero Immigration and Government Zero. I close the chapter with the three pages on, can we get America back? I mean, I'm not going to read it to you, but I want to read one line. I'm not against immigration. I'm the child of immigrant parents myself. My mother was an immigrant. My father was an immigrant. Everyone living in this country is descended from immigrants, including the inappropriately named Native Americans. They aren't indigenous to America either. They came here from Asia. They just came before the Europeans. That's something else you probably didn't learn in school. 
Immigrants did help build this country into the greatest nation on earth. And 